Welcome to this video on covalent bonding. Take a look at the keywords we'll use in this video. First let's look at what a covalent bond is. It's a bond formed between non-metals. These are the ones found to the right of the periodic table. It's a shared pair of electrons between two atoms. Atoms want to have a full outer shell, so this means two electrons in the first shell and eight electrons in the others. They want this so they can become stable, so they react with other atoms to get this. Look at this diagram of two fluorine atoms. This is only showing their outer shells. Both atoms give one electron to be shared. This means that if you now count the total number of electrons in the outer shells, including the ones shared in the middle, you get eight. This means both fluorine atoms are now stable and have four outer shells. Here are some covalent molecules. We have methane, which is CH4. It's made up of one carbon atom bonded to four hydrogen atoms. We then have carbon dioxide, which is CO2. It's one carbon atom bonded to two oxygen atoms. Next is water, which is H2O. It's two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. And then finally we have oxygen. Oxygen is a diatomic molecule, meaning it goes around in pairs like this, and its formula is O2. You might notice that carbon dioxide has two sticks going to each oxygen. This is because they form double bonds. Each atom gives two electrons instead of only one. Covalent molecules can also be made up of more than two atoms. Here is methane. Carbon needs four electrons to give it a four outer shell. Each hydrogen can only give one electron, so carbon needs four of these to become stable. Each hydrogen also gets one of the shared electrons from the carbon, as it only has one shell, and we know that to become four, the first shell only needs two electrons. Holding each molecule together, there are strong covalent bonds. However, between these molecules, there are weak intermolecular forces. These are easily overcome. If you look at this cup full of water molecules, when heated, the intermolecular forces between the molecules are broken and the molecules are free to move. However, as the covalent bonds holding the molecules together are really strong, the molecules don't split up. 